Hi, thank you for joining me. In this video, we are going to play around with layouts in ArcGIS Pro. So specifically this kind of layered stacked approach. These are just uh, insets and overviews for the Grand Canyon. But uh, specifically, we're going to look at using location indicators and styling them, making them look kind of glassy and shadowy, that sort of thing. And then we'll move over into uh, applying drop shadow like effects and inner drop shadow effects inside layouts. So I have three maps here. I've got one that I'm going to use for the Grand Canyon, one for an overview, and then one for a close up of the visitor center at the South Rim. And they're three separate maps and they each happen to have their own projection. So I'm going to insert a layout in my ArcGIS Pro project and I'm going to make it 19.2 inches and 10.8 inches. Why? Because this is going to be viewed on a computer screen, on a monitor. So I wanted to keep that general aspect ratio. And so I'm inserting my standard map, which is uh, the Grand Canyon. And I'm just going to fine tune the position of this, the width and the height to match my layout, just so it sits perfectly around the frame and I don't have any kind of gaps at the edges. And I'm going to activate this map, which means I can start zooming in, panning, and stuff like that. So I've activated it, and I'm whizzing right down into the Grand Canyon area. And I visited the Grand Canyon once in college. We hiked down, starting with the South Rim, down to the bottom, and then up the other side and camped. It was pretty amazing. Um, and I'm getting rid of this default uh, white, or I'm sorry, black one-stroke outline around this, this map view. Uh, and now I'm creating, I'm inserting another map view, and instead of a rectangle, I'm going to choose a polygon, and I'm going to trace out a triangle here. And I'm going to activate this. Well, first I'm going to, um, I'm going to switch, switch which map it is. So right now I'm going to choose the overview, which is using an orthographic view of the world. It kind of looks like the, the world from space. And I'll activate this. I'll zoom in to the Grand Canyon area just to give you like a perspective on a continental scale where the Grand Canyon is located. And I'll exit um, that uh, activated view. And now I'm going to give it, instead of this one you know, pixel black stroke, I'm going to give it a gradient stroke. And I'm going to make it quite wide just for illustration purposes today. I've made it 12 points and I've given it an offset of half that, that thickness. And I'm going to choose a gradient of semi-transparent black to fully transparent black. And let's just give this a test. And oop, I totally blipped. And instead of a negative offset, I gave it a positive offset. It happens all the time. So there it is. It kind of looks like an inner shadow. It almost looks like the Grand Canyon map is floating slightly above this overview, which is you know a neat effect that you might want to try out. So give that a go. Um, now I'm going to make a copy of this map view. I'm going to paste it into my layout. So now I have two of these guys, and I'm going to whoop, flip this around. I'm going to give it a 180 flipped orientation, and I'm going to put it in the opposite corner. And what I want to do here is have a view of the visitor center on the south rim. And so instead of that, that same overview map, I'm going to choose my inset map that I've made ahead of time. This is just using imagery and the Mercator projection. So I'll activate this and I'll fly blind right into the south rim of the Grand Canyon, which is right there. And if I keep going, I can actually see the structures. All right, cool. And this looks you know, good enough. Good enough for today. And I'll exit the activated view. And now I've got um, a map in the middle, an overview my main map in the middle and kind of a zoomed in inset there. But I don't want it to look like it has an inner shadow. I want it to also look like it's floating on top of the Grand Canyon. And so I'm just going to reverse the gradient here and change my positive to a, ne or a negative to a positive. And there, now it looks like a drop shadow. Instead of an inner shadow effect, it's a drop shadow effect. Super easy, super fast. And check this out. Because I flipped my layout element here, my service credits are upside down. And I find that unacceptable. So you aren't stuck with your service level credits and you aren't stuck with how they look. So in the insert menu, I'm gonna choose dynamic text and then the service credits. And I'm gonna plop them here. And when I do that, they disappear from everywhere else. 
So now I have full rendering control of these things. I can change the font, the size, and the color, and that's, and I definitely am going to do those things. So I'm going to make it a white, and instead of this default font, which by the way, defaults of the enemy, change them wherever you can. I'm going to choose something that's more condensed, and the white's a little bit bright, so I'm going to cut its opacity in half and just see how that looks. Uh, looks good. I'm going to kind of position it a little bit more neatly. And there it is. So what we've got here is a map of the Grand Canyon showing an overview, showing an inset. Um, and right now I'm just doing some housekeeping to rename these map views, um, something that makes sense to me so that I don't lose my mind in the next step, which is actually adding little extent indicators. So with the overview selected, I'm gonna choose insert extent indicator. And I'm gonna say, show me the extent of the Grand Canyon map view. And there it is, a little black rectangle. Um, and so again, instead of that default black rectangle, I'll choose this symbol and give it a gradient stroke. Um, and it's the same thing. This is going to look really familiar to you, right? So semi-transparent black to fully transparent black. And that's just the hack little drop shadow effect. And I'll, I'll tone it down a bit. I'll make it you know, 20% to 100% and it looks OK. I'll give it an offset of half of its stroke thickness. Okay, now it looks like a little drop shadow. Now there's a little bit of an edge artifact, so I'll just choose round and round over the corners a little bit. Looks a little bit better. And instead of a solid fill, I want it to look kind of glassy. So I'll choose a linear gradient fill, continuous, not discrete, so there's no banding. And I'll just make it go from white to transparent white. And uh, so the transparent version, of course, I'm going to give it 100% Great uh, transparency, and then for the top of the window, I want it to look a little bit, so I'll cut it in half and hit apply. And now you get this kind of neat little glassy overview effect. You aren't stuck with just a one pixel black border. You can do all kinds of things. Now I'm going to do pretty much the exact same thing, but in my inset map. So um, on my map of the Grand Canyon, I'm going to say drawn extent indicator, and it's actually that tiny little triangle there. The cool thing is, is it actually honors the shape of my of my map layer here, so which is triangular. I drew that triangle polygon. And I'm going to go through these steps again. Um, if I was smart, I would have saved it as a style, so I just had to rubber stamp it. But I'm not smart. So here we get to the, the benefit of watching me redraw these drop shadows and, and gradient fill effects. But it's all right. It's good practice. So again, instead of a solid transparent fill, I'm going to give it a gradient fill from semi-transparent white to fully transparent white. Um, now, you're not totally stuck with the shapes of these um, extent indicators. I could have chosen to um, represent it as a dot. And you know, go ahead and play with those options. In, in the real world, it would have been way better as a dot, or I could have zoomed out a little bit in my extent indicator. Um, so I'm going to export this as a PNG image, and we'll take a look and see what we've got. Hit export. Now it's chugging away. And it's creating a 1920 by 1080 PNG image, and there it is. So it looks like kind of three maps stacked on top of each other. Thanks for watching. Shout out to my daughter, Willow, who drew me these logos. If you want to see more maps and more how-tos, follow those blog links up at the top. And feel free to give me a follow on Twitter or Instagram. And happy mapping. Have a great day.